it's so curious to me why you've got uh, Muslim activists uh, so uh, contemptuous of Australia when there's so many Muslim countries in the world they can choose from. So yeah. many. I mean, why why come here if it's so bad? Why stay here if it's so bad? But Esther, uh, Esther, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Evelyn, what do you make of this? Should the these bureaucrats be sacked for expressing such hysterically anti-Israel views, making false claims like, you know, they want to wipe out entire peoples. I think that this is a symptom of a bigger problem. And I think it's a symptom of the degradation of our culture over here in Australia. And I think that, you know, too often Australians hide behind the facade of multiculturalism. And I just think it just is just not simply going to do moving forward. You know, at some point, Australians will need to recognise what is and what is not Australian culture. You know, I think that the notion that all cultures and all religions and all worldviews are equal just needs to be tossed in the bin. You know, most people you would hope know that that's not the case, but until we dispose of this pluralism, of this idea that we have to be tolerant of all ideas and all thoughts, you know, until we dispose of that, we're only going to separate ourselves from the things that make our, our country so great and have historically made our country so great. And I think that that's the, uh, this is just a symptom of a bigger problem, unfortunately. Yeah, but I've got to pull you both up, I think. Uh, James, I don't often do this, but you said uh, this guy's not representative of modern culture. I'm afraid he is. I mean, our modern elite culture is, you know, pooping all over Australia. I mean, that is part of the problem. I don't and, like and modern Australia. I, <laughs> Just Andrew, saying. I think if, if, if you define modern Australia by the very loud voice of a very small group of cultural elites, then sure. But mainstream Australia is the complete antithesis to much of the noise we hear from our university academics or our celebrity class. Uh, modern Australia, mainstream Australia, does not think this way at all as in, and is incredibly frustrated with a government that has allowed that minority voice to become what seems to be modern Australia. Evelyn Ray, James McPherson, thank you very much to you both.